thank you for introduction. Um, my name is Jan Voboril. I am, I am uh, executive director of Czech NGO Juridicum Remedium. Uh, our field of interest is uh, human rights, our human rights and technologies, especially right to privacy, data protection, but we are also public lead of Creative Commons Czech Republic and uh, we promote with our colleagues uh, use of these licenses in the Czech Republic. Uh, in my short presentation, I would like to talk about the limits of the use of works uh, li licensed under Creative Commons, uh, given by right to privacy or right to right to publicity of people uh, who are identifi identifiable on on the pictures or videos. Uh, Creative Commons is a very useful tool for free culture. Uh, it is not only because it is free, but but of course, also it is relatively simple to use to use these licenses. Uh, conditions of licenses are described by one, two, or three three simple simple pictograms. And the big advantage is, of course, also that that uh, the user and the author may not come in a direct connection. So. So it helps culture to be to be more global. Uh, but the problem is that th there is not only limit of copyright, but also limits of other other rights. And currently, Creative Commons licenses cannot solve these problems. Uh, it can be moral rights. It is, of course connected with copyright but also also for example right to trademarks or a right to privacy or right to publicity or data protection uh, of uh, outdoor or other persons uh, especially persons uh, who are ident identifiable on, on pictures or videos uh, Uh, most states re regulate creation and use of, of these these pictures, uh, without which, which are used without without consent of, of these people. Uh, one thing is is to take a picture. Uh, the second is to publish it, and the third is of course uh, to publish it for commercial use or commercial purpose. Uh, especially for commercial use, uh, user need usually, usually so-called uh, modal release. It is consent, consent of modal or, or, or person who is on on the picture uh, with publication or, or another type of use. And of course, uh, the problem is also the term commercial because because. Uh, it can be it can be interpreted in many way. Uh, for example, uh, eight months ago, the the district court in Cologne, Germany, uh, said that non-commercial means means only for personal personal use. So, so it, there there are big differences between between uh, between interpretations of of course course and other people. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So the first first question is how we can use these pictures if if we don't know who is on the picture or we don't know if there is any consent with with, uh, with the publication or or another type of use. So uh, it is it is of course very very riskful for for user because without this information he, he, it is it, it can be a big problem for him or her uh, and uh, the big advantage of, of creative commons that the user and and the author uh, may not be in direct connection is here the problem because because uh, it is not easy to contact 
to contact the author or it is impossible in in a big big number of, of situations so uh, so if you if you are not able to ask if who is on the picture and 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 uh, if there is any consent so it's a big big problem and big limit for for the use uh, the second second question is if there is any any solution in ideally way simple solution. Uh, so I, I think that uh, we can we can use uh, the Creative Commons concept uh, for for solution not only copyright but also also another rights. Uh, we can create one another one another pictogram. And uh, when the author attach this pictogram to his to his work, uh, licensed under Creative Commons Creative Commons licenses, uh, he will say that all people who are on the picture uh, gave the consent with the with the use of this picture in accordance with with this specific Creative Commons license. Of course, it is based only on trust in in author's declaration that uh, that uh, there is the consent. But but I think it is nothing new for for Creative Commons users because because already now uh, we must we must believe that the licensor is also the author. So 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 it's nothing new. And I think that that it will be very helpful helpful tool for for sharing these these types of of uh, works which are which are uh, protected by right to privacy or data protection. So thank you for your attention, and I gave I will give three minutes to my colleagues.